There's a need for us to highlight a bit, you know, some of this, you know, ground in the petition. One, since assumption of office as the chairman of NASLAF, Barista Emeka has failed to abide by the constitution of the forum and represent the collective interests of legislative aid. He has operated in, unilaterally without the regard and consultation with the bodies established by the constitution to run the forum. That is the executive committee, ESCO, and the central working committee. The following are grounds informing the suspension. One, running of forum unilaterally on a day-to-day -day basis without the input and consultation with the executive committee of the forum. The detail of breach, the details of constitutional breach of this is Article 13 I, or Article 13 1 of the Constitution vests the executive powers of the forum in the executive committee and places the day-to-day -day running of the forum on the ESCO. Mr. Nwala has disregarded this provision of the Constitution and has been running the forum on a day-to-day -day basis without the ESCO. Two, individu individual representation of the forum in all matters without the ESCOs. Article 13.2 of the Constitution empowers the ESCO to represent the forum in all matters before the Senate, House of Representatives, National Assembly Service Commission, management and other relevant agencies or organization. In this case, Mr. Nwala has disregarded this constitutional provision and has been represented the forum on its own and without the consent and involvement of executive members. On local setting of standing and ad hoc committees, Article 13.3 and Article 18b empowers the ESCO to set up ad hoc committees and standing committees respectively. Mr. Nwala unilaterally formed and set up committees without recourse to the ESCO. Four, setting of committees without regard to geopolitical spread. Article 18b states that the composition of standing committees shall reflect the six geopolitical zones and the two houses of parliament. The committee set up by Mr. Nwala is lopsided and does not represent geo Geo ge geographical spread. Five, locking off NASLAB secretariat and denial of ESCO and NASLAB members access to the secretariat. Mr. Nwala locked the NASLAB secretariat and denied the ESCOs and NASLAB members access and the use of secretariat despite the resolution of the ESCO that the secretariat be open to ESCO and NASLAB members. Article 21I makes insubordination to the executive committee a ground for this disciplinary action. Six, holding of meetings of executive committee in his own personal office and not at NASLAB Secretariat. Mr. Nwala treats the executive committee with no respect. He holds meetings of the executive committee in his office and not at forum secretariat contrary to the resolution of the ESCO committee, that the meeting be held at the Secretariat. Seven, failure to call for the meeting of Central Working Committee, a critical body of the forum. Article 11.1 mandates that the meeting of the Central Working Committee shall hold at least once every two months. The last time CWC meeting held was on Monday, 22nd July, 2024, a period of over three months. Eight, failure to call Congress. Article 6A stipulates that Congress should meet at least once in a quarter of the year. Mr. Nwala has disregarded the Constitution and has failed to summon the meeting of Congress. Nine, running of the forum without a budget. Article 9V empowers the Central Working Committee to approve budget for the forum. Mr. Nwala has been running the forum without any budget approved. Failure to follow up and constructively engage for the payment of 28 days to management aids. 
Ms. Inwala has failed to follow up and constructively engage for the payment of management aid of their 28 days allowances. Distinguished colleagues, I think this is what is written in the petition. And already it has been moved by one of us and subsequently seconded by one of the members of Central Working Committees. Distinguished colleagues, I would like to once again call out the prayers for our unanimous, you know, agreement to this. Number one, is it the decision of the Central Working Committee of NASLAV to suspend immediately the chairman of NASLAV in person of barrister Emeka Inwala? Just against say aye. 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 Against say nay. Those, those in support. Those in support. Yes. Should I put the question again? Yes. yes. Those in support that the chairman of NASLA, Barista Emeka Nwala, should be suspended from his office, say aye. Aye. Again, say nay. Nay. The eyes have it. <laughs> Two. Is it the decision of the Central Working Committee of NASLAV that the Vice Chairman in person of Honorable Ishak Bayabasale to be appointed as the Acting Chairman of NASLAV to avoid vacuum in the leadership of the forum. Those in support of this prayer should say aye. Aye. Again say nay. Nay. The eyes have it. <laughs> Three. Is it the decision of the Central Working Committee that the acting chairman shall, along with the executive committee of the forum, ensure the effective representation of the interest of members of the forum in all manners, and to, in particular, one, call Congress to enable members of the forum meet and discuss issues affecting NASLAF. Two, immediately commence the amendment of the constitution of the forum to make the body more representative and broad-based, broad -based. three, ensure the timely meeting of the Central Working Committee. Is it also the decision of the Central Working Committee of NASLAV to adopt these prayers? Those in support say aye. Aye. Again say nay. The ayes have it. <laughs> Lastly, is it the prayers of, is it the decision of uh, Central Working Committee of NASLAV to direct for immediate reopening of NASLAV Secretariat and handed over the keys to the Secretary or Assistant Secretary? Those in support of this say aye. 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 Again say nay. The ayes have it. So I think we are done. With, the, with this petition of 18. Mr. Secretary, is there anything left? 